Hey guys, it's Danny and welcome to another video and I'm here with updates on five systems. We have three to watch in the Eastern Pacific and we have two in the Atlantic. But before I go into details, please take a second or two to tap that subscribe button if you haven't as well as the notification bell say no every time when I post a new video as well as to share to make persons out there know what is taking place and to help the channel grow. Okay. And we have Delilah right here and then we have two other systems to the southeast of it but we're gonna start with Delilah of course it is more of a concern than these other two so here is the National Hurricane Center's cone of uncertainty and we see that not really expected to strengthen and by late Tuesday we could see it becoming a tropical depression again and by late Wednesday it could become post tropical and this is due to the fact that it will enter cooler waters as it makes its way across the eastern pacific so not a threat to land at the moment but looking a bit organized to say that it actually has the storm features so let me show you guys that all right so here it is looking way better than it was yesterday so delilah very short-lived tropical cyclone but those two behind it well to the southeast could be a bit more significant so the reason for that is because of the sea surface temperature is one of the main ingredients for the development of a tropical cyclone. So right this area stretching across the eastern Pacific to the central Pacific, very warm. And if these two systems stay here and there is low wind shear and the upper level wind, winds are conductive, we might get two tropical cyclones. And if they develop, they will acquire the names Eric and Flossie. So we could see these by next week or very late this week. But it looks like we could have Eric becoming the second area of low pressure that is behind the first one. That doesn't have actually has the marked area because the air flow pressure is expected to form. So after it forms, development is possible. That is what it means. So let us trade from here and go over into the Atlantic. All right, so there I was this morning say, let me check the tropical updates. And when I actually looked and I saw this air flow pressure, I'm like, deja vu much? Because I'm sure that this is somewhat what Barry actually looked like when it, before it actually became a tropical system or tropical depression. And to say that it dissipated a few days ago, and we're seeing another area flow pressure that is expected to form in the Gulf soon. That is just incredible. And then here we have tropical depression number three, not expected to become a storm, but to be very low, very short-lived depression. And uh, this may not, this definitely doesn't really has any chances to become chantel, but let's not underestimate it. But this could, could this actually become chantel by? later this week uh, or early next week we don't know as yet we just have to watch it so golf i'm sorry you guys it's just a few days after barry actually made landfall in intracoastal city in louisiana and here we have yet another area of disturbed weather so guys if you're there i'm sorry about all this stress but we're in the hurricane season so just take the necessary precautions don't take any unnecessary risks and I'll give more updates on this system. And conditions actually seem fairly conductive for tropical cyclone formation. Okay, so the sea surface temperature map right here for the Gulf. We see that it is very warm. You see these little pink spots right here. Water is very warm right there. So temperatures from 29 to 30 degrees Celsius stretching across most of the northern part of the Gulf. And so that is... So the main ingredient as I said earlier for the formation of a tropical cyclone but now let's look at the wind shear map all right it may be a bit confusing for you guys but here you can make out Florida right up here and then we have the Caribbean but actually the greens actually about five knots for wind shear up to about 10 and then the yellows 20 and the reds 25 30 and beyond that so we can share the greens and that is very low it's just a little part of the gulf right here actually has a strong wind shear while the rest of it very weak so at about five miles per hour right there and that is another condition that helps with the formation of a tropical cyclone so we could definitely see 
another tropical storm if we actually have this current trend going into the end of this week for the Gulf. Alright, tropical depression number 3. Not expected to be a very long-lived tropical cyclone. By early Wednesday, it is expected to be absorbed by a frontal system moving down from the US. And by that time, it is expected to be off the coast of the Carolinas. So, the rainfall could be enhanced there as well but the good thing is that it is going to move quite quickly and right now it is moving to the north at around 12 miles per hour as it states down here and the winds 35 miles per hour strengthen is not anticipated at the moment so we could not see this strengthen as we go through the midweek so guys we have a lot of activity going on in the tropics right now and remember to always be weather wise and if you found this video pretty informative please give a thumbs up and just be weather wise and i'll keep giving your tropical updates so stay tuned for more